<laughs> Good evening. Hey everybody, Fox here. Now this is normally where I talk to you about role-playing games, but I've got something different on my mind. If anybody's been paying attention on the Twitter or listening to the podcast, I've been talking a lot about horror lately. So if that's something you want to hear me talk about, stick with me. If not, pop over to Roleplay Roulette for our newest RPG review. Or pop over to Let's Play Roulette where you can see our latest video game episode. Or if you want to see us play those games live, pop over to our Twitch. But if you're ready for a spooky time, let's get into it. Consequently, content warning... This episode is going to get dark. Seven Realms Productions will be launching a Patreon quite soon, so if you are interested in supporting what we do here, keep your eyes open for that. So once again, viewer discretion is advised. So if you're not familiar with the concept of internal horror, it refers to a story that brings out aspects of your personality, aspects of your biology, aspects of your psychology that you're not comfortable with, or not sure you're entirely in control of. A really recent example of this would be Australian horror masterpiece, The Babadook. More classical examples of this could include Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or Lon Chaney's absolute masterpiece, The Wolfman. Of course, I could also bring up Fritz Long's chilling thriller, M. There's something inside of you and you can't control it, and it poses a threat to everyone that you hold dear, including yourself. And if you want a breakdown of that, watch the scene where M begins to scream that he's doing what he's doing, not because he wants to, but because he has to. And that is perhaps the best segue to the movie that I want to talk about today, Eli Roth's latest contribution to the genre, Clown. So I'm going to try to avoid spoilers, and I'm not going to be going through this frame by frame, and what I am going to talk about is a quick rundown of the movie and my personal interpretation of it, and why I find it to be one of the most horrifying films that I have seen in years. So Clown starts out as a story about a pretty average guy. A 30-something upper-middle-class Caucasian with a wife and a son. Or we're introduced to them and given the idea that they have a pretty decent family life. Now, our focus character, Kent, and his wife, Meg, have a young son named Jack. Jack's having a birthday party, but there is a slight problem. Something happened, and the party clown that he asked for can't make it. So stepping up to the plate and doing what I like to think any of us would do, Jack tries to, you know, smooth this over, kind of solve the problem. And luckily enough for him, previous tenants left some stuff in the basement, among which turns out to be clown suit. So Jack puts it on. On, he goes out, puts on a pretty darn good show. The kids love him, his son loves him, everybody's happy. Except, once the show's over and everything's all said and done, he can't take the suit off. Or no matter how hard he tries, it's now stuck to him. And little by little, it begins taking him over, changing him mentally and physically. Through the course of the first act, we come to find out that, by miraculous circumstances, the skin of a child-eating demon came to be stored in the basement under his home. And now that it has him, it won't let him go until it has been sufficiently fed. And his hunger for them is growing and growing and growing. And one of the things that I really like about the way the story is presented is that maybe midway through, Kent has become so degenerated that he can't be followed as a sympathetic character anymore. At which point, the focus of the story switches to his wife, Meg, and the decisions she has to make about protecting her family and protecting her husband, especially as he begins to crave, above all else, their own son. On a surface level watching, Clown is a great supernatural horror story with awesome gore effects, really well done acting, and that's crucial to this. But underneath it, it's something more. It's something so much worse and more terrifying, and that is where the internal horror comes in. So that brings us to my interpretation and our old friend Fritz Long. You see, the real horror of this is that the demon is inside of Kent. It's this unstoppable urge awakened in him at his son's birthday party. An urge which he must satisfy on children or else he will turn on his own flesh and blood. See, as I mentioned earlier, internal horror deals with urge. It deals with 
compulsion and it deals with emotion. In The Babadook, it's the stress and anger that a young mother has to deal with as she suffers having no reprieve or help in raising her frustrating special needs child and the fear that she might snap and hurt him. In The Wolfman, it's the fear of this burning internal temper, this worry that you could lose control and lash out and hurt somebody close to you. So how does this fit into Clown? Kent is a pedophile. Clown is a movie that is trying to communicate to us what it must be like to be somebody so consumed with a dark, destructive, unacceptable urge that even though they know it's wrong and horrible, they can't stop themselves. And that's where the real brilliance of this movie comes in. It's not Kent. It's Kent's wife, Meg. It's the way she has to deal with realizing that this is in her house, but this is also inside somebody that she loves dearly. And the position that this puts her in is not an easy one. I mean, we'd like to think it would be, but what do you do with that situation? You are staring down the barrel of being forced to sacrifice somebody. Some of the closest people to your heart one of them has to go. And we see that explored as Meg is forced to consider becoming a accomplice to feeding children to his dark urge, sacrificing other people's love and family to protect her own. And it's a situation that I bloody well hope to never be in. It's not as easy as just getting rid of them. They're still the person you love, right? That's a lot to think about. Especially because we're thinking about this because of a dumb slasher film where a clown runs around eating people. But that's why Eli Roth is a master of his craft. Because this movie isn't at any point going to come out and tell you that's what it's saying. But if you sit down and watch it, I'm pretty confident you'll agree with me. But maybe I'm wrong and there's something going on even scarier. And if you can find that, tell me about it in the comments because I want to know. If you like this and you want to see me do more of these in the future, please tell me. If you're interested in bringing the horror to your table, check out our latest podcast where we talk about trying to do horror in role-playing games. So until next time, I'm Fox Winter. Keep running, but never outrun the fear. Hey!